such a beautiful morning. It's just nice and a little bit windy, but not choppy at all. We slept so well last night. Oh, I feel so well rested and like a new person. Um, we're super excited. We're gonna try to dive the wall today. Um, and we heard you dive down to like sandy bottom, about 40 feet. And then once, once you get to that sandy bottom, it just like drops straight down <laughs> to like thousands of feet. Um, and uh, just beautiful coral and sea life there. So we're really, really excited. Um, we can easily get down to 40 feet, probably get down to like 60, 65 feet. Uh, and then after that, it's, it's kind of pushing it, but just being able to dive that deep, I don't know, there's something really cool about it. It feels really um, like therapeutic. <laughs> And uh, so even if we can't see much of the wall, I'm really excited to just go down there and try to. <laughs> anyway, here's our beautiful view this morning. Good morning, buddy. Good morning, man. All right, so Lighthouse Reef uh, is supposed to have some of the best free diving in all of Belize. And uh, we are gonna go right now, we're gonna pay the park fee over here at Half Moon Key, and then we're gonna go right to the other side of the island to Half Moon Key Wall. That's only like 45 feet deep, so we can definitely free dive to it. So let's do it, man. Beautiful day, I am so stoked. Let's just do one day for now, yeah. and then if we come tomorrow, we'll pay tomorrow too. Okay. Sure. Notice we are here at Half Moon Key. Mm -hmm. This entire area is a protected area, right? We have Half Moon Key, Long Key, and Northern Key. The moorings for the wall, are they right here? Yeah, they're right there. You'll find about three moorings. Three, yeah, okay. Three. Oh, first one today. arriving in an atoll in the middle of the ocean and not needing any gear other than our fins and masks to be able to dive so deep and get to experience such a cool ecosystem and be able to see something that usually mostly only divers get to see. It was empowering and beautiful and cold and just super awesome. My 
favorite aspect of free diving is when you get to the bottom and you look back up and you see how far away the surface is and you just think, wow, that is so high up and I came down from there. And you can see really beautiful coral and swim amongst beautiful reef in shallow water. But the great thing about free diving in deep water is just that sense that you can move in three dimensions and the freedom that comes with that. so cool about finding a trench down on the bottom of the ocean and getting to swim through it and feeling the anxiety and the fear and the excitement of not really knowing what's around the corner. It's a super intense adrenaline rush and definitely my favorite part of free diving. Awesome. Yeah, that was definitely one of the coolest like free diving experiences I've ever had. Right at like the peak of I think our ability of yeah. like enjoying free diving. You yeah. know, it was just just deep enough where it was a challenge, but shallow enough where I could actually get into some of the tongue and groove parts of the uh, reef and some of those swim throughs and stuff so and then when you go down there you know there's grass and then you see coral and then beyond the coral it's just like dark and gloomy and it was I think they were saying it's about 55 feet and I think that's to the coral mm. and then like the sand is probably like 65 mm. so I think it's probably like 55 to 65 right there and so from that from that height right from like 60 feet away a fish a big fish might not look that big you know mm -hmm. so you look down and you're like huh i wonder how big that is and like swim down and it'd be like a mutton snapper that's just like this massive guy just swimming along and he's uh and they're not like freaked out by you because they don't have much pressure from spear fishermen but mm -hmm. anyway so yeah that was that really truly was maybe what the funnest free diving experience i've ever had yeah i would say the cenotes were really cool too. I'd say diving cenotes That's true. and the wall were like two of my favorite things to do ever That's in the true. water. <laughs> yeah, there was a couple of times when I kept on seeing, I don't know if it was kind of like a beefy looking uh, reef shark. So I don't know if it was a bull shark, but I kept on seeing it just flirting on the outskirts. And a couple of times, I think we were just in its territory. It actually like swam towards us. <laughs> Um, but that, from a distance, yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon I as, couldn't even see it. Yeah, I'm sure he was just like, get out of here, human. <laughs> Free diving like that really takes it out of you. Mm -hmm. Just like time after time, like holding your breath and swimming down and like, yeah, I, I'm exhausted. So it's only like 2.40 and I'm just like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> We've got a little shark friend out here. 
Nursey the nurse shark is hanging out near Atticus. That is refreshing. It feels like a bath actually compared to where we just were. Yeah. That was a pretty refreshing bath. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So like seven stingrays. Oh, a couple little fish under the hole. It's so pretty and clear. Do you miss normal showers? Uh, not right now, no. <laughs> that was pretty cool. And also, we we leave our shower and water on deck, so it's like hot right now. So I would take this over a hot shower inside the building right now. <laughs> oh, that feels really good. Well, I just found a sliver of shade on the foredeck, so um, I'm just enjoying my lunch. Got a bean salad and then some uh, tuna fish salad as well. And it's just beautiful. Just I could, I'm not getting sick of just <laughs> looking out and seeing blue, blue water. And the reef is right ahead of us, so you hear these like breaking waves, and the wreck is directly forward of us right now. So it's just kind of like a very, very visually stunning place to be. And then you look that way and you see this awesome island. So um, I'm really enjoying it here. I think the next time I'm in like a really crazy storm and things aren't going well, or we're in a passage and I'm under underslept and underfed and under everything, <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to remember this. I'm gonna try to remember why it's all worth it. <laughs> When I'm, when I'm snorkeling, crap. <laughs> when I'm snorkeling, crap. <laughs> okay. What was I gonna say? Okay. If you, yeah, okay. Um, can we start over? <laughs> <laughs>